yeah, it's going down like Chinatown. J-Mac coming through with another fun family food review. It is Frozen Food Friday before we get things started. Click that subscribe button. And it's time for the first step. Frozen Food Face Off! Today on the menu is meatloaf. We got the banker, we got the stoker, we got the hungry man, we got the devour, and then, of course, Boston Market, which frozen meatloaf will reign supreme. Oh. All right, first things first, we're gonna start with the cheapest. It is banquet. Yeah, how much did I pay for this one? That one cost me $1.78. Let's see if we get what we paid for. All right, here is a box to actual meal comparison. Does it look like the picture on the box? I don't think so. All right, so what you see here, we got some type of apple dessert here and some dried up looking corn, some mashed potatoes, and this here is the meatloaf. It's not a very hearty portion, but for a dollar and 78 cents, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, right off the bat, I got a piece of dried up corn in my mashed potato. I already know I'm not gonna like that corn. It's all chewy and nasty. Meatloaf here is pretty hard to cut. Almost as though the recommended cooking time was not accurate. Not very good. Actually, it's pretty bad. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, they're mashed potatoes. Nothing fancy about them. The meatloaf is weird. I don't know what. It's some weird banquet style meat. Is that even made out of meat? I'm not even gonna eat this nasty corn. I'm gonna try the dessert. Not bad. Best part about this banquet meal is the apple dessert. Worst thing about it is this corn, which I'm not even gonna eat. Well, I'll, I'll try the corn, just for you guys there at home. I'm gonna try the corn. Mm. Yuck. I'm gonna set the rest of this aside for right now. Next up, Stealthy. Looking at the box and the actual meal, I feel like it's a pretty accurate depiction there. If you look at it. Yeah. I mean, those potatoes, of course, are fluffy, but those probably aren't even real potatoes. That's probably some type of. Hollywood magic, but anyways, let's see what this one tastes like. First things first, we want to cleanse the palate. We don't want that banquet meatloaf to rub off on this. So we'll try the meatloaf first. Some gravy on there. Take a look, closer look there for you. That's some good meatloaf. For $2.85, you can't beat that. It's 
pretty accurate to like a home style meatloaf you made right there at home with all the hard work that it takes to make a meatloaf. Let's try these potatoes. Mm. Not bad. Not bad at all. So far, Stouffer's has got the meatloaf to beat. We'll set that one aside. Up next, Devour. Bacon topped meatloaf with smoky garlic mac and cheese. Interesting. Devour chose to go with mac and cheese instead of potatoes. Picture on the box, actual meal comparison, I don't know. You can tell that bacon was added fresh while this bacon here is just like mixed in with this tomato stuff. But it looks decent, it looks decent. And yes, you know what's strange? Is this container is like exactly like the Stouffer's container. I wonder if uh, Devour might be in cahoots with Stouffer's. Let's give it a try, see what it's all about. This one, tied with Boston Market for the number three most expensive. This one cost $3.88. Let's see what it's all about. Cleanse the palate once again. All right, try this meatloaf first. Give you a closer look of it there. Now this one chose to not go with like gravy. It's more of a tomato based sauce on top of this meatloaf. And it's shaped different than the Stouffer's meatloaf. So maybe they're not in cahoots, who knows? different. I don't know if it's different in a good way. Let's try these uh, smoky garlic mac and cheese noodles. That's good. That's really good, actually. Hot. All right, I'm gonna set that aside for right now, and next up. Boston Market! We can do a box to actual meal comparison there. They're the only one that actually put gravy on their mashed potatoes. As you see, the gravy kind of mixed in with the mashed potatoes. It's not sitting on top like it is in the picture. But all in all, for the most part, I guess it looks accurate. Let's give it a try. This one right here was also $3.88. So if you're gonna compare this to the Devour, it's like you get a whole lot more food for the same price with the Boston Market meatloaf. We'll try the potatoes first on this one. Man, this is hot to hold. Nothing fancy about those potatoes. Meatloaf. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna love it. And 
don't love it. It's pretty thin too compared to the picture. It looks a lot thicker in the picture now that I really get a closer look at it. Oh man, potatoes are burning my throat. Hot potato, hot potato. Yeah. It's not crazy about these meatloaf patties. They're stuck. Finally. Last but not least, Hungry Man. I learned something today. All my life I've been cooking Hungry Man wrong. I always leave the brownie in there the whole time, but it says to remove the brownie halfway through. So that's what I did this time, and it's a lot softer. Usually that brownie will be like a hockey puck. So picture on the box comparison to actual meal. I mean, it looks uh, pretty accurate. I mean, of course, the box is all fancy looking, but I mean, for the most part, the meat looks about the same size. The carrots and all that, the mixed vegetables look good, the mashed potatoes, well, that's where we get into some, like, movie magic. Now you see, those are absolutely perfect looking, and this is just like, okay. Let's give it a try. This one was the most expensive. Whoa, about dropped my camera. The most expensive out of the five costing me. Tell you what, these receipts are impossible to read. They put so much nonsense on here, you don't need $3.98, so only 10 cents more than the Devour in the Boston market. So, not much difference in price there. All right, so let's give it a try. Final cleansing of the palate. Try the meatloaf first and on this one. Please be good. God, it's so hot. I figured out a secret. The meatloaf isn't bad. Got a good taste, good consistency to it. With a hungry man in the Boston market to get two pieces of meatloaf. No. Get down on this. Good meatloaf. Try these mashed potatoes. Nothing special there. Try these mixed vegetables. Not bad, way better than the uh, banquet corn. Some of my hungry man. I don't know where he landed. Yeah, good. Hungry man's pretty tasty. Let's try this brownie. The infamous hungry man dessert brownie. It's a lot better when you don't overcook it. Those of you watching at home, next time you make a Hungry Man, 
Make sure to pop that brownie in out after four minutes. Read the instructions. I thought I did read the instructions. I've never popped a brownie out of a hundred minutes before though. Brownie's good. All right, I'm ready to rank these bad boys. All right, so I ranked them in order of worst to first. And we do have an overwhelming favorite. At number five, the worst meatloaf in this frozen food face-off is the banquet meatloaf, which cost me a dollar and 98 cents. Number four, I'm gonna have to go with the devourer. I just was not feeling that sauce. And for $3.88, I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more. At number three, Boston Market. I just was not feeling that meatloaf. $3.88 as well for that. I just, I wasn't feeling it. It was a little bland. Nothing special about it. At number two, the Hungry Man. This one was really good. The last one, the most expensive one on the list. It was tasty. And I will be eating the rest of that. But our winner, actually one of the cheaper ones, goes to Stouffer's. It tasted the most like home style. The picture was the most accurate. It looked so much like the actual product. But as you see, there's no actual product left because I ate the whole thing. And that is the only one that I did complete at all completely eat the whole thing. I will be eating more of this Hungry Man because that was pretty tasty. But for right now, our frozen meatloaf champion goes to Stouffer's. Help yourself to Stouffer's meatloaf. Oh uh, yeah. This is J-Max saying adios, abisodete, sayonara, and goodbye for now. Until next time, peace. And chicken grease. Bye, Felicia.